7 News Time is 6.50. Good morning. We have the uh, Jefferson County SPCA here, and Angel is here from the SPCA. We also have Patrick here, who is uh, a, a trainer, right? Is that an appropriate title? A trainer yes. for dogs, and he's been doing some work with uh, different dogs in order to have the dogs be more obedient as they leave the shelter, so it is a better animal that uh, people find when they when they come to the shelter. So good morning to you both. Thank you for coming in. Thank um, you. And this is Ty. This is, a, an, did you say an American Bulldog? Yep, American okay. Bulldog. He's actually only about five and a half months old, so he's still very much a puppy. Yeah. Um, Ty came in because his parents were moving and they didn't take him with him. Uh -huh. um, great dog. He's actually been at the shelter for almost three and a half weeks for the sheer fact that we've had like five different people put their names on him uh -huh. and something has happened with each potential adoption where it has not worked out. Yeah. Uh, either landlord permission or their dog didn't really like Ty. Ty's a puppy, so he's very much want to play. And that, that's important, too, to say, to mention that when you go into the SPCA to maybe adopt an animal, that there is a process that the SPCA goes through. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, we have an, ap an application that has to be approved. We have to have landlord permission. Um, if you have other animals, we want to see how they interact with the animal you're looking to adopt. Yeah. We want to make sure that we try to do as much as we can to get them a permanent home. So many of our guys have been in three or four yeah, places. Yeah, you don't want the animal to end up coming back to the shelter. You exactly. You want to find a permanent home. Patrick, you have um, the experience in working with a lot of the dogs. You, you, you take how many dogs a week and then, and then train them? Or how long does it take to train one dog? You've been working with Ty for how long? Uh, we've worked with him a couple sessions so far. So he's, he's still learning sitting down. So those aren't under cue yet. Um, but uh, we've so far we've worked with about four or five dogs at the shelter since yeah. we started yeah. helping there. And have you seen an improvement in Ty? Oh, big time. Yeah. I mean, he he's as soon as dogs realize that um, good things are coming their way, yeah. they, they respond a lot better. Yeah, and, and the stuff that you're teaching them, it's not to to, to pl play frisbee or anything. It's just the common things of what sitting and and and, and not barking or healing. Yeah, yeah, basically with shelter dogs, you want to start with sitting down. You want mm -hmm. those to be default behaviors because. Those are great behaviors to start with, and then you build on those from there. Mm -hmm. That's when you can go into the frisbee and all that. So this helps when people come in and they see an obedient dog compared to a puppy jumping all over the place. So a that that quiet helps dog. a quiet dog. Yeah, and, and Ty's been very quiet here today. How did this relationship uh, spawn? How did you guys oh come God. together for this? Actually, Allison and Patrick, who run Click to Zen Dog Training and Foster Dog Chronicles, which is another rescue in the area, mm -hmm. um, came to me. Oh goodness, almost a year ago. Yeah. Um, when I first took over as director and said, you know, we want to work with the shelter. And um, it got kind of busy and we kind of got lost touch and then we got back together and they've been coming in for a little over a month, month and a half, and they've done amazing things. Mm -hmm. And it's been a great relationship. They've actually taken some of our animals home and given them a respite from the shelter, especially if they've been in the shelter for a long time. This gives them a chance to get away from the cage into a normal environment, yeah. into a home environment, and then they can tell us more about the dogs than what we would know just watching them in a cage. Right. Like, Ty is not fully housebroken, but he's well on his way, which for a five-and-a-half-month-old male puppy is great. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not they're good with cats, whether or not they're good with other animals, what behaviors they like to do and don't like. So, Patrick, you take the dogs and, and, you, and you do see if they're good with other animals. We do. We have cats and a ferret. Um, we have horses, chickens, yeah. stuff like Cheapers. that if we want to <laughs> go in. Goats. <laughs> um, all the way through the gamut. But um, it allows us to, to bring them in a home setting and work with That's them. Right. And uh, we have Ty and Azu, another shelter dog that we took for the weekend to give them, you know, a little fun at time. And this is a great dog. And oh, yeah. I, uh, if we didn't have six personal dogs, yeah. I, I, I would adopt him in a heartbeat. Uh, he is awesome. just... He's a lover. Great puppy. All right. 7230260. Closed for the day today. That's a typical thing at the shelter, but uh, open back up tomorrow. Thank you both for coming in. Good to Thank see you. you.